Hi, my name is Gabe. For this problem, we're asked to write a formula which represents the slope of the graph of the function 4 minus x squared at the arbitrary point x, f of x. And then we're going to use this formula to find the slope of the graph of the function at the point 0, 4 and negative 1, 3. So let's begin by writing down the formula that we're going to find to use slope. So it's going to be given by m, where m is the slope of the graph, is equal to the limit as h approaches 0 of our function f of x plus h minus f of x all divided by h. So looking at our function, let's go ahead and let's write down what f of x is and what f of x plus h is. So we're given f of x is equal to 4 minus x squared and f of x plus h is going to be our function f of x, but everywhere where there's an x, we're going to substitute x plus h. So this leaves us with a 4 minus x plus h quantity squared. So now that we have this written out, let's go ahead and let's find the formula which represents the slope of the graph. So our slope m is equal to the limit as h approaches 0 of f of x plus h, which is 4 minus the quantity x plus h squared, minus our original function, f of x. So we want to be careful to put parentheses around the original function. And this is all divided by h. So now we'll go ahead, we'll simplify. So this is the limit as h approaches 0 of 4 minus, expanding this, we have x squared plus 2xh plus h squared. And we'll distribute this negative sign, so we'll be subtracting 4 and adding x squared. And just like the previous step, we're dividing this whole thing by h. So what we see here is we have a positive 4, and we're subtracting a 4. So those will cancel. We have a negative x squared plus an x squared. So these will cancel. And what we're left with is the limit as h approaches 0 of negative 2xh, being careful to distribute this negative sign, minus h squared, and this is all divided by h. Now what we see here is that there's a factor of h in each of the terms in the numerator. So let's go ahead and factor these out. So we're left with the limit as h approaches 0 of h times negative 2x minus h all divided by h. And now we see there's a factor of h in the numerator and the denominator. And these cancel. So we're left with our slope being equal to the limit as h approaches 0 of negative 2x minus h. And here, we can take the limit as h approaches 0. So substituting 0 in for h, we have this is equal to negative 2x minus 0, which is still negative 2x. So this is the slope of the graph of the function 4 minus x squared at an arbitrary point x, f of x. So now, to find the slope at the point 0, 4 and the point negative 1, 3, let's go ahead and we'll plug in these x values into our slope. So for part A, we're looking at the point 0, 4. So remember, this is our x value, and this is our y value. So if we're looking for the slope at this point, our m is equal to negative 2 times 0, which is equal to 0. Now for part B, we're looking for the slope at the point negative 1, 3.
And again, remembering that this is our x value and this is our y value, we can substitute negative 1 into our formula for slope. And we have m is equal to negative 2 times negative 1, which is equal to 2. So we see that our slope at the point 0, 4 is 0, and the slope of our graph at the point negative 1, 3 is 2. Thank you.